Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of the Amber Army YouTube's newest Retro Championship Manager series. We've gone with Aston Villa again. For those of you who are following the CM3 series we were doing and now know that unfortunately the game save died on us, um, I felt it only fitting to, uh, to go Aston Villa again on this one. I was going to do an 0102 and a CM3 series sort of uh, together, but with, with the fact that CM3 was a bit temperamental and conked out on us, I think it's best not to start another one on there. But this one is a lot more stable on a more up-to-date operating system, especially with an up-to-date patch and running with the right compatibility mode. We can certainly have a nice, long and happy save game on here. So, we are Aston Villa again. It's an unfortunate one that we don't have Gareth Southgate. Now, um, respectable league position so at least they're not testing us too hard um, so basically this is our team um, for those who remember Aston Villa from back in the day we don't have um, Ugo Egiog and Gareth Southgate anymore unfortunately but Stefan Postma was a decent goalkeeper for Villa and is decent on you Peter Enkelman's half decent as well um, Thomas Hitzelsberger could do with a bit of work. I'm going to throw him into the reserves for now. So we've got Alpai, Melberg, Gareth Barry as a left back, um, Alan Wright as a left back, um, Alpai, as I said, Dion Dublin can play centre back or up front. So hope he does better on this game than he did for us before. Um, Marcus all back. We've got on your Darius Vassell. Um, I think in our reserves we'll have a few more to put up, like. And Pablo Angel, what the bloody hell is he doing there? And Peter Kreitch is on this game and he is going to take his place up in the senior team. Luke Moore, we've got on here, who's going to get better. Bosco Balak, Ban is out on loan. Um, who else we got? We got a quite a lot of good, good, half decent youngsters who remembers Liam Ridgewell. So I'm going to go through all these, work out some players who I want to keep or I want to get rid of Mark Delaney should be in the first team um, and then look at players who I'm going to look to sign as well J Lloyd Samuels only 22 looking like he's going to press on a little bit so fixtures coming up our fixture list hasn't been completely decided upon yet by the looks of it but yeah, I'm going to make sure these guys know they're part of my team And then I'll update you guys as and when we're bringing players in, letting players go, etc, etc. I shall speak to you guys soon. Okay then guys, so as it turns out, we're playing in the Intertoto Cup. But something tells me we're not going to go much further at the moment because we have got Paris Saint-Germain. Um, if somehow we get through to them, um, we've got a semi-final and a final to play uh, to get into the UEFA Cup. That would be very nice, of course, but... Paris Saint-Germain awaits. I'm, um, obviously in the first episode it's usually an introduction and the pre-season so I'll only do short versions of the match. I'll just give you score flashes of the half-time and full-time so I'll go ahead and take you there. So here we are, let's kick off and let's just hope for the best. Eh? So Lord behold, we're in, in at half-time 1-0 up. If you remember Paris Saint-Germain, they had a very good team back then. <laughs> Obviously, Ronaldinho played for them then as well. I think this was the last time Paris Saint-Germain were actually really good. Um, obviously, they're great in real life now, but they did go through a period of not being so good. But they've always been good before. I think this was the last point that they were really good. So, uh, after that first half, considering looking at that, I've got a good feeling about this. Let's see how the rest of the game goes. So, we ended up winning this one 2-0. We actually, we've actually given ourselves a really, really good chance of getting into Europe, yeah? So uh, let's hope we can bring it in the second leg. Okay, then guys, so my transfer targets are Kim Karlstrom, who remembers how good he was on this game, Christian Bergstrom and Bakioglu, both of them awesome on this game, um, Andres Nicolas Oliveira, Paolo Souza is a defensive central midfielder, Portuguese, 30 years old but still very good, will do us for a good season, Taribo West will do us extremely well for the season. Um, we've already got some good centre backs, Taribo West will add to that. Need to get some good attacking midfielders in on this and also some defensive. So, Karlstrom and Sousa are both defensive. 
Back of our group, Bergstrom will be wingers, and Oliveira will be a utility. Use him pretty much anywhere, anytime, sort of thing. Still only 23 as well, on a free. So let's hope that we get all them players. Okay, so I can say now that we missed out on Paolo Souza, he decided to sign for Betis, and Oliveira, we missed out on, he decided to sign for Spad at Moscow. So, second leg against Paris Saint Germain is the next thing. Let's crack on. I take it. Okay, so second leg, we've got two goal advantage in it, and one player we have signed is Christian Bergstrom, who will be making his first start for us in this game. So, let's see how we get on. I take it to half time. Well, we must have shocked the world. We went 2-0 up in that game. Alozio has brought two back, but we still got the advantage and we still got two away goals, so they have to score three all the way through. Let's see if they can do it, or let's see if we can hold on. <laughs> okay, we did it by the skin of our teeth. It was a bit close to call at the time, but wow, we're through. We're through the semi-final of the Intertoto Cup. Let's see if we can get through to the UEFA Cup. We at knocked out arguably the biggest team left in it so if we can beat these we should go on and get through fingers crossed eh guys ok so the draw now for the Intertoto Cup semi-final that'll do yeah that'll do nicely there we go got some little team in Georgia we should get through now and looking at the teams that are left I can't see us missing out on it the way for Cup beckons as long as we can see it over the line Bit of good news on the signing front. West has accepted a deal with us, turned down a load of German teams, and we just got to wait for the work permit. So um, we should have him for the start of the season. First leg against that Georgian team coming right up. Here we go. We'll kick this one off, and let's see if we can uh, give ourselves a good advantage for the second leg. Okay, so a disastrous start. Hendry managed to pull one back for us. We're looking a little bit better towards the end of the, se of the first half. Let's see if the second half brings us any more joy. OK, so unfortunately it finished 2-1, but we were that good against Paris Saint-Germain at home. I fancy us to, uh, to turn this round in the second leg. OK, second leg, here we come. Let's hope we can turn it round. OK, so here we go. It's now or never. OK, so half-time, we've got the lead, we're winning 1-0, and we got the away goal, so as it stands, we're through. But we don't want to cut it that fine. We want to get through on, uh, on a good amount of goals. Well... <laughs> extra time and we equalised in the last freaking minute as well oh my god almost knocked out by Whit Georgia and to be honest with you I've never even heard of them so let's have a look how we get on after extra time so relief as we ended up winning in extra time Melberg adding another goal and Juan Pablo Angel wrapping things up nicely for us and just so you know when the season actually starts this isn't how we're going to be doing the games you will be seeing the games so just thinking now this is the pre-season um, I just want to make sure you can get an idea of the games that we are actually having to play before the actual season starts. So, pressing on then, guys. So, the draw for the Total Cup final. So, we got an Icelandic team called KR. Let's hope we can uh, do the business over them and not cut it as close as we did, did against that Georgian team. Okay, then, guys. So, transfer update. We For the life of me, I cannot get... Karlstrom, um, I've offered ridiculous amounts of money for him and they're still rejecting it so I've given up on him I'm look, looking at Stefan Ishizaki who is a very good young f future player Josip Skogo is a very good attacking midfielder on the game and then Kennedy Bakirioglu is on a contract at the moment so we've got West Bakirioglu will be coming in as soon as he accepts his contract, it's just them two to get over the line. And then we'll have a little review and see if there's anyone else we're going to need. Um, ready for the next episode. So first leg of our Intertoto Cup final coming right up, guys. So we better kick this one off. Let's hope we don't give ourselves a, an uphill task like we did in the last one. Half time's nil-nil, but we got the better of the game. So uh, I think we may go on to win this one. Okay, so we got the nil-nil draw. We absolutely destroyed them, just couldn't find the net. So I think... Second leg at home will destroy them and we will be in the UEFA Cup quite unexpectedly considering we had to play in the first round. But there we go, let's press on with our pre-season. Okay then, so uh, we are ready for our first game of the season which will be coming in the next episode. I am 
going to take you to show you the updated transfer front. So the players in Bergstrom, we've signed Bakuyoglu, Ishizaki, we've picked up Lee Clark from Fulham and Tariba West is over the line. I'm not going to try and bring in Kevin Nolan because we could do with a central defensive midfielder and he's only 19 and he will get good. As we know he got good in real life. So uh, we've still got that second leg to play. That will be featured in the next game, in the next episode. We've got to play Birmingham at home and what a way to start things off. So there we go guys. We're looking ready for our new season. You see this Dela Cruz, I will be moving him on because you can only have three... FGNs playing at one time so I will be looking to get a new right back but that will all be unveiled in the next episode guys so thanks very much for you all for picking up on this new series I hope I can turn this into the same Aston Villa team as what I had on the last one so disappointed to lose that but I suppose these things happen but at least now we're on this one now and uh, we're looking to move forward with it so uh, for those of you who are going to keep up the series I've got a feeling this is going to be a good one like the last one so thanks again, and until next time, cheerio for now.